God reveals information to us for a reason. All right, so we take a look at the scriptures here, and there's a reason for every word in the Bible. That's what we mean when we say it is inspired. It is inerrant. It is God-breathed, as Paul tells us. The prophets wrote the scriptures inspired by the Holy Spirit, and each word in here is revealed to us for a reason. God has a purpose, and he's revealed certain things about the Trinity for us, and the reason why is because he wants us to be in relationship with him. In the Trinity, we see a Trinitarian God calling us. To friendship. The Trinity reveals a lot of details about salvation in how each of the persons work, how the Father works, how the Son works, how the Holy Spirit works. For instance, God the Father wants us to experience His perfect fatherliness. All right, so when you hear God the Father, some of you had horrible dads. You still have horrible dads. And so maybe you were abused, maybe he was absent, maybe he divorced, maybe, he's, maybe he left. Maybe he's emotionally abusive, physically abusive, sexually abusive, whatever it might be. And so when you hear about God the Father, you don't connect with that. And yet God in the Word continues to say, I am God the Father. And I am calling you into relationship with me. I want you to see what perfect fatherliness looks like. So for those of you who are broken, for those of you whose fathers abandoned you, for those of you who are hurting, you can look to God the Father for what a father's supposed to be. And he's perfect in his fatherliness. If you don't know, understand the Trinity, you don't get that. You don't understand. And here's God the Father in salvation. Ephesians 1 tells us he chose you. And Ephesians 2 tells us it wasn't because of anything that we've done. God did not look down the, 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 the time or eternity, uh, past, present, future, and say, you know what? Look at Dan. He's going to be a preacher. He's going to plant a church with, with a whole bunch of people. They're going to they're gonna try to make a ruckus for Jesus in Middletown and the surrounding areas. So you know what? Because he's going to do that, and based on his merit, and based on all of his good deeds, uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose him. Because he's going to, to earn that. No, Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 says, it is by grace you have been saved. You've been saved by faith in Jesus Christ. This is the gift of God. Something we did not deserve. Something we didn't merit. He gave it to us. Chose us as our father. 